So looking yeah. at looking at those two games, I mean, we still got two or three games left uh, for sure, at least two now. Um, you could say that we are clowns seem to have a better idea about how the map works. They destroyed the bridge. Uh, they kept blocking it uh, for 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 the rebuild, but and Pondgard didn't seem like on right on the execution in the game one, but in game two they they definitely pulled back up. Um, what, what do we what do we expect for the for the game three now? Similar map, I, same thing. Same map, know. isn't it? So I mean, I think it's going to be similar kind of things back and forth. I don't see them changing too many strategies mm. on these kind of map. Um, but obviously trying to just hold off the where they, they were doing it the last time around and try and yeah. win their attack. And the one thing they can do is hope for the best that it goes. I think it's going to go to a game five, if I'm honest. I think if we can all agree, though, the attackers have the advantage on this map, it seems to be. Like every, every yeah. single matchup so far, the attackers have always won. I reckon Pongard on their defense will change it up a little bit. They won't sit, if you like, so deep on the, the B side keep. I think they'll try spreading out a little bit like we are clowns, at the, so the Trebs just don't always hit them. I reckon they'll do it slightly different. I don't think they'll do it how they did on the first one. They'll try spreading it out along the bridge a little bit more. Yeah, might be. Might I think. Be uh, I think PG is going to definitely change it up completely this time. They got absolutely smoked on this last defense. I think they're going to have to um, completely reevaluate their strat and play smart here, and uh, not get trapped. And I think uh, ISG is going to be more uh, valued. Um, they definitely. I think they had the right idea with the ISGs, but once the ISGs there was just not enough, and uh, they're definitely going to. We're definitely going to. See some plays here. I mean, both teams are just absolutely playing incredibly right now. Um, this reminds me of season six, Regionopolis, fighting for my life there with uh, Ming. And I have to say, I haven't seen good fights like this in some time. I've seen some good fights. No, this is probably my favorite one so far of the of the uh, entire tournament. This really just both teams are really coming to play, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be thick. It's gonna be dummy thick either way. Either team right now, honestly, I, I usually I, I I have to say that both teams have very much impressed me so far. I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, what goes. Down I don't here. know why, but I can see a Pom Guard Sally out coming now. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know why. My gut feeling is telling me they're just gonna be like, you know what? Because like, even even though clowns didn't actually engage with this sally out, you could proper see Pond Guard just like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. And I re I would yeah. be surprised if we see something similar just to just to put them on the back foot, foot a little bit. Would be nice, you know. I, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Are we ready to have the throat to get this thing going? Or what's going on? What's happening here? Yeah, they seem to be ready, but uh, we're just waiting. Uh, I guess the Dealer for Life still wants to. Make a few little changes in the strategy, uh, but we're all good. We're yeah. good to go. So, and we should expect the time in any minute. Big pog, big pog. <laughs> I'm definitely ready. I mean, I really, I gotta take note of these guys. You know, I one thing I have to say, CBN, with you make, making this tournament happen and getting bringing it all, all together, man. I have to say, it's been freaking sick that you did that, man. I, I have to give you big kudos. The reason for that, like, dude, I mean, I've been playing this game for three fucking years, <laughs> and I'm telling you, I didn't reckon, I didn't know who half, these, who half these EU guys were until you actually brought the, both of our servers together like this. I mean, I have to say, like, I, I, like, there were some handful of EU players I knew, but not to this extent. And I have to say, man, I mean, kudos to you. Honestly, honestly, guys, got a heart in the chat right now, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be rude right now. <laughs> Guess up my man right now, CB. He deserves some hearts in the chat. We'll see this in exactly five minutes. If I don't see those hearts, I'm gonna ban someone. Probably gonna be Daddy Sig <laughs> because goes. he just doesn't deserve to be on the stream. <laughs> But, what, uh, one honestly, thing I'm gonna let you know as well, guys, is actually is this, like even not written saying it's a CB. What they're saying in chat here, even things like Temple Shot, saying it is only free life. People that are dying three times, that's why it feels like the attack is obviously getting the wins because they're getting the kills and the heroes, yeah. and they, there's nobody coming spawning back in. So it's a CBL map rules, even though it's his, it's not. So that's because oh. uh, it's bugged. So Temple Shot and all that, and I'm you know that are saying that. <laughs> so just. Uh, just to let you know for the, f the for the next few matches that if we pay attention to people that are dead, they're completely yep. dead or not. All right, we're ready to go, guys. It's game it's just three good to know for the final match. match. Let's go, let's go. It is we are clowns on the attack. Pond card in the defense. Uh, Zelgius, you can take it away, and Nine Fingers and Mark jump in outside of the fights because Zell, I, I I know your voice is, is ready to go. Excellent, excellent. You know, it's it's gonna be a much different fight. I think I might be lying. I think I lied. As a matter of fact, I definitely lied. Look at that. I think I only see once on ISGs again. Uh, you know, I have to see. We'll have to see. I don't see the cav out either, uh, uh, Mark. I don't see the cav man for uh, for PG as well. It looks like the same unit comp. As a matter of fact, they're they are believing in their strategy. Hashtag not surrendering our plan, even though we died last time. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes down here. Uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. 
Uh, hmm. Yeah, it does look like the similar strategies in terms of units and heroes from both sides, to be honest, to start with, from the last matchup uh, when, obviously, We Are Clowns were on the attack last time around, so it don't look like it's changing much, and hopefully similar strategy will come into play and it might work for uh, Pawn Guard this time around to see if they can uh, change it up a little bit in terms of what they were doing, even with the same unit comps and strategy. They could potentially they, they figure out the better way to play it um, this time around, and it may actually help. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think they, I think they had the right idea with their unit comp. I just think it was used poorly on that B side hold. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes down. I do honestly. I mean, for the other gentleman in the chat right now, for VC right now. I mean, come on, this map's pretty dope looking. I mean, I, I it's, really this like the aesthetics. Pretty cool. Oh man, it is a nice map. I was just thinking that they could do something different. You know, they were sat so deep at the keep, yeah, like where between A and B. They might yeah. sit with the majority of their units in the keep, mm. and then only come out when they want to engage. That could Instead be of, like spreading out around the wall. But the problem is, if they get blocked by something big, they're, they're going to be in trouble. But yeah, yeah. So it looks like it does look like uh, we are clowns are going for that trip right off the bat, man. They said, "Fuck this, we're trapping them as a spawn." They literally went for the instant trip. Uh, Deer for life and Watson taking that A side hold. Neither team really get wants to hold A here. A is a super attack oriented. And there's no reason to hold this whatsoever. There's a couple oil drops here, but it's really I mean with the, with the ladder with the flanking plays they can make on this A side push. It's just not worth their time to hold it. Yeah. Uh, it does look like they're going for that deep tab right push right away. Weird Clowns are taking no time this time. Going right away for that tab right side. They're not even giving time for SK to blow the bridge. Does not look like PG is even bothering with the bridge again. Um, it does look like SK is going to sit there and take the dual blade one on one. PG, uh, SK from PG is definitely going to try to hold that for as long as possible. Kicker Amaya going to play on him right now. Here it comes. He's going right for the Culverin. Um, it does look like Weird Clowns are responding to Kicker Amaya right away. A being taken decisively. Uh, the rest of PG really in mini castle here, not letting them get any time to breathe. Real kind of fighting inside here. Uh, SKW better be in a 3v1 over there, but before we get into that, I just want to check inside real quick, see if there's any action happening here, and there's not. Um, it does look like the inside. Oh, there's a supply point actually here by B. It's actually a really good hold by B. Man. There's a supply point here. Is there? Right. Oh, yeah, inside, the, the, inside the four, yeah, up the top there yeah. is one in B. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Holding B so hard. I see B's actually very much uh, defender oriented then. Um, that, that alleyway is really the uh, the main threat here to PG. They just have to play it smart. I would just camp and... Uh... Man, it's a good thing they didn't put B inside of the castle. This would be a defender oriented 100%. Um, yeah, I mean, they're already through on Pat Tab right side. They already have the supply point getting ready to preemptively cap it. PG is not defending this Pat Tab right side at all. We are clowns defending this with their lives. Um, PG says, screw it, we're not going to defend it again, and they're going to let it go for free again. Um, Pi and Takedown and Mash was looking on, looking uh, probing over there right away. I mean, we're it's, we're seeing the same exact thing unfold here. Um, no Sally, no nothing. Um, this right away take and giving half the map away to uh, We Are Clowns here. Both teams have full sets of units. Nobody's really lost anything yet. Um, a lot of four brackets, Senjis. One set of ISGs on the field again for PG here. Maybe PG just takes this loss and wants to go to the next map. Maybe they're just like had enough. I don't know. Maybe they're confident in the fact that the, they can take it to the next map. Um, but that's like weird clowns getting right away, right for the same exact scenario, ladies and gentlemen. They're literally the same. Um, those that means some gray hair currently blocking right now. Mr. Billy D. Sledgeman and the boys looking for a play here. Um, but Wero and them are already sniping them with their ranged unit. Uh, uh, Silver Warx is already harassing with Shropo. A primitive chub going right off. If those ISGs back up a little bit, that's going to be a fruit chub you shave right into them. And it's going to be real close. All those ISGs have to do is move southwards a little bit, and they don't. They actually avoid the trap. They see the trap. The trap is called out nicely. Um, really nice hold here by PG so far. Really kind of getting ready here. Tab right side, though, is completely given that we are clowns. It's really anybody's game right now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, based off the unit comps right now, double ISGs, help sergeants, the, the salads are back in the fight. Four weird clowns. I got some ball boys mixed in. Reapers, Madao, Senjis. Um, you know, the unit comp is definitely interesting. I, I'm not a fan of Halp Sergeants myself, but I, some people will swear by them. And I'm a big fan of, if you're really good with them, I, I play, like veteran players, I give them the opportunity to benefit the doubt. If you like are comfortable with the unit, you go for it. Look at that treb though, man. Right on top of SKW. My, I don't have my sound up, but my ears are ringing from that trebuchet. I feel like I'm in the front line. I, I, there's literally Apache helicopters flying over my head right now um, from that trebuchet. Like, that was, fact, that was like literally the delicious trebuchets that you really want to see. And, uh, CB, you're frozen, bro. CB, you're frozen. Okay, got that. Um, good, good. Let's make sure. I just got DM'd. Um, C4, Maximus, and Takedown really getting set up here on the on the central push here. Akuma holding down the line. Um, really, they're really kind of pressing out here for PG. I really don't, not sure if I like that, simply because of the tribute chase. But Maximus working the Alchemist. Look at those heels going off. You see those greens going off. Um, 
I'm surprised here um, for PG. Honestly, with this alleyway, what if they had a couple guys spawn all the way by home with Cav, and then once they pushed, had them come out, you know? You ever think about that? Um, I don't know, just two by two cents. You but... mean, have them, have them sat in the back, and then when they push, then come in from behind? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm a little surprised they didn't try that. Uh, maybe they're confident. I mean, they have their strats, of course, but I think I might have tried that, just to see. Especially, because like, they're going for the same... We're literally watching the first fight unfold all over again. Um, with Akumo and Sig kind of holding down the line here and uh, try get, taking those chokes to the forehead again. SKW probing this ISG box, but unless they really... They're actually going to engage this time. PG is going for a full frontline push. They're going to go for a full sentence, and they said, fuck this. We're not going to wait to get trapped and trapped and trapped. We're going to full push into it. That's exactly what PG does. They're going to eat some traps to the forehead along the way, no doubt about it. But Rev the Brave takes out Temple Shot right away, killing their team captain. PG goes for a full front run advance here against We Are Clowns on a defense. Pai and getting ready for the flank with Gilcho. Akuma and Watson making a flanking play doing tab right side. Those traps are coming right on top of PG. Uh, another trump coming in hot here. They're going to bat the back up here. If they honestly going to eat that trip to the head. And it's right on top of PG, that trap. Uh, these are really nasty traps. And it's definitely benefiting We Are Clowns. 167 only dead for We Are Clowns. And 234 dead for PG. Um, yeah, they back up completely there. They completely push back. Uh, PG runs back. And so does We Are Clowns. Neither team really wants to engage that. Both teams are like, fuck that. That was expensive for both of us. I mean, look at all these dead bodies. I mean, look at all the blood. Honestly, I get an F in the chat for all the bodies on the ground right now. Honestly, hopes and prayers for the for a speedy recovery for those troopers on the ground. I think they're pretty dead, though, to be honest. Uh, you know, they're definitely trying to uh, push them back as much as possible, not give them any time to get those traps off, but they're still eating those traps either way. It's kind of inevitable in this little alleyway. It does not seem like a, a, fu a fun play here for... Uh, what, what, are, what are they doing? They've seen Rear respawns Clowns. from Pond Guard, and they're going for him. Wow, that is so cringe. Wow, that is toxic. That is so toxic. That is toxic as fuck. <laughs> oh, we are Clowns going for the easy pickings. It's picking them off as they run back. Wow, what a play by We Are Clowns. Revlo Brave loses his entire set of Fort of Rock kills to that. Oh, that sucks. No, she doesn't lose Fort of Rock kills. Somebody lost Fort of Rock kills to that. Rub the Braves, SKW, two nights rotating back now. Um, unit counts are definitely dead for now. 266 dead for PG at this point in time. Over 100 kills, 100 more dead than uh, We Are Clowns here. We Are Clowns, again, setting up on this approach. See, this approach in a normal Siege scenario or a TW scenario is not the play simply because it's arty. Um, but in a tournament play like this where there's no arty allowed, this map becomes very favored for attackers. Um, it really depends on what the rules are of the engagement. But from a strat like this, a strat like this works because of no arty. Um, so you really got to think outside the box and pretend and, like, and really take that into account here. Um, really got to see what PG does here. PG really pressuring. I mean, they're really pressuring. P they have Palace Guards on the front line tanking. Senji's in the back shooting. They're really kind of tanking. Four Brockers watching the back line at all time in case they try anything funny. I, I really don't think Weird Clowns are going to try anything, though. Um, even though, is the bridge even up? The bridge is up on it, so they could try something funny there. But uh, Gilcho was going to make sure they don't allow it. Um, PG's really just going to have to tank these traps really kind of... They need to, what they need is a guy to claw these traps. I mean, you can see you got about a 15 second window before these traps truly land. You really just got to call them out and see them as best you can. Um, hope for the best here. Um, PG kind of getting lucky. This uh, much luckier um, right now than uh, they were beforehand with these traps. They're not like last time the traps was on point on PG every single time. This time PG has been tried like four or five times. For the most part, the traps have been, uh, really been off. And PG actually going for a full frontline assault again against Weird Clowns. Weird Clowns are totally clumped together right now. PG is going to try to take them head front down. PG is going to use their skill, their hero skill. PG's definitely got some of the best players on NA East and um, are going to make that hard play, hard play here. C4 taking out Picker Dunkle right away here. Wero getting kill, killing off Sig though, so it's even, breaking even right now with kills. Three dead current for Weird Clowns, three dead for PG. Um, it's everybody, it's anybody's game right now in this exchange. PG's really pushing through here. Uh, hero trades are definitely going towards the favor of PG. PG actually takes the hero kill, the unit kill lead. They are losing the hero kill lead, but they are winning the unit kills. Currently, five four hundred and forty dead for P, for Weird Clowns, and only three hundred and sixty-five dead for PG. It's anybody's match right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is a totally different match. PG really are put. They are not playing conservative. They're playing hard. They're giving them no time to breathe, and it might be benefiting them a little bit. They're not getting as badly smoked. Um, it's still attack oriented. Cap charging in right now against We Are Clowns. A really good respawn, We Are Clowns. The gun's firing right away. Um, a lot of PG currently alive still. Only three dead. Um, they, that means they have respawns coming in. And it's Acid Train Sig making a hard play. Akumo 
Are they going to go for the strat? I think they're going to go for it. Let's stay tuned. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I want to see if it goes down. I want the chat to see it for five minutes from that before I say anything. Um, it's going to be freaking delicious if that goes off. Akumo takedown and Sesuke W looking to make that flanking play. They see Akumo, though. We require response to it. It does have to be at the PG now to flank it and take out what they can, pick up anybody they can themselves. Uh, we are clowns going hard on PG right now. SKW going way around this time. Takedown Akuma being chased decisively. Damn, they should probably tank this right here. They ran back with their flood of brackets instead of tanking the kill button, tanking that alleyway. They probably should tank the alleyway. SKW is trying to respond to it. It's going to be in too late, though. He went all the way around. Uh, there's eight weird clowns pushing SKW and takedown and, and Akumo. Akumo and takedown die. SKW is now 10v1. It's over for Sasuke as well. Um, really bad play there by PG. They shouldn't have ran away. Might as well just tank it. You got as many kills as possible. The unit kills are back even on the field right now. PG currently setting up on on, on B side still. Weird Clowns just picked up three heroes though from PG. Decides to be River the Blade running, running back again. Um, zooming her unit as best as possible, but we'll have to see. It does look like her unit will get away this time. Wow. Wow. Unit counts right now is 447 for Weird Clowns and 454 for PG. Um, pretty even fight. 685 units on the field right now for PG. 745 on the field right now for Weird Clowns. Um, it's still kind of leaning towards Weird Clowns right now, uh, but it's still anybody's match right now. This is a much longer hold than we saw last time. I think we saw this point get taken out minute 10 last time. And right, here's the preemptive trip right on PG. PG are playing a little too conservative. They're going to take that trip right to the head if they stay where they are. And... And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, right on top of the PGs who get trapped. But charge is in vain. The charge glitches against Sledge Main. It's unfortunate. Um, charge is sideways with an accident. Now it's a hard push by Weir Clowns. Weir Clowns heavily on number PG here. Takedown, nowhere to be found. Neither is Akumo, uh, who's way out here doing God knows what. Uh, the back line is being heavily pushed. Gilcher responding with his Florida Brock. You're trying to get him in the fight. Those trumps are going off heavy this time. The guns are getting protected. The Alchemist going off for PG, trying to tank it. Um, it's going to be up to Akumo and take down and make a big flank here. We'll have to see. Akumo's... What has he got? Uh, oh, no. Akumo's got nothing good. It's not going to be good for him. Uh, and takedowns nowhere to be found. He's SKW making a flanking play again with Cab, but he's not going to be there in time. Aspen Street getting completely pushed out. It does look like PG's going all the way back to supply. B is being taken, though. All where Crowns has to do is send a guy back to home point, and it's already over for them. Um, Sludge Main going to fucking play Akumo and Sasuke that were trying to react to it. Um, people running back from B. It does look like PG will lose B here at minute 541. Um, it does look like Pine will die for the team there. Trying to tank it. Mr. Billy D and his pizza outfit just trying to do God's work and buy some time for the boys. Uh, a lot of PG caught behind back line here. Um, really kind of struggling to get through here. It's just heroes and some Reapers. Uh, dealer for life, 1 HP, trying to respond to it. It does look like Weird Clowns will go for that snowball tactic, ladies and gentlemen. 649 dead on the field right now for Weird Clowns. 730 dead for PG. Um, is it, is, they're going to have to do it for a hard, hard... Um, wow, they're going to have to go for a hard a, uh, a hard uh, snowball here to, against PG. Otherwise, it could be a tough fight here for Weird Clowns based off this unit count. Uh, PG currently have three dead. Weird Clowns have nobody. Weird Clowns really needs to go that snowball tactic. It does not look like they're going for it whatsoever. Um, their players are pretty scattered right now. Sludge Main really kind of taking one player by himself right now. Take down, watching the front, uh, giving that presence of they already have guys there, making sure that Weird Clowns doesn't push. Um, wow. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, unit counts what's left on the field. We got some, the green units are coming out, man. We got Pike Militia for Akuma, and we got, uh, what the fuck even are these things, dude? Uh, Demony Spearman for Wero. I mean, unit counts are definitely there. This is a much closer fight than we first with first when this when PG defended. Um, PG definitely still has some units in play here. They got Reapers in the field, but Lead Hop Sergeants, Scray Hairs, Lead Hop Sergeants, Forta Brachios, and Senjis and Ball Boys still in play here. Um, we are clowns are really taking their time. Seven minutes on the clock, so they do have at least two decent pushes left in them. Based off unit count, they at least they have 539 units on the field. Unless they really lose that first push, then in which case they'll be only have really one push. Um, Kicker MXNU looking to make a play, but literally S tier Ashen Tree is there with a the pike, ready to fucking protect the team with all with all his might and no mic. Sig there with his mic, though, ready to support as needed with a takedown watching the flank. Takedown has been an MVP for a couple of the, for the last game. We'll have to see if he does it again this time. Um, if only he did that in TW for me, Big Sedge. Just joking, just joking. Um, in terms Sledge of the main... Zaljus, yeah. you've got, uh, even though the, the thing weighs for uh, We Are Clowns, they've actually got the, the kills, hero kills. So there's a few heroes in the Pawn Guard that are potentially at risk of dying out. They will come back. See that we take down Sig are all on two, two lives already, so is Akumo. So they potentially. Is it, is it a CB so map? I thought it wasn't. It's not it's a glitch, map, it doesn't it's say. It's given it, <clears throat> yeah. it's only three lives. So these guys so there is a, going back, potentially, yeah. And then six minutes on the clock, they have to play very smart then, in that case. 
Um, yeah, they're playing very that'll smart. automatically change that unit count as well from 390 potentially even less. Oh, quickly. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah. And they got a big trade right here, coming right now, right against us. We are clowns and PG. Whoever wins this trade probably takes the fight, to be honest. Um, flanking plays coming in right now by PG. Pine making a flanking play with Cav. Balthasar actually reacting to it, using his ult and his, playing his pole axe, makes a play there and holds it down. Um, we are clowns still have five heroes in play there. PG does get a sandwich, though, and does clear him out here. Really nice play here for PG. Uh, really changing it up. 829 units currently dead right now for We Are Clowns. 880 dead for PG. It's anybody's fight still right here, ladies and gentlemen. Three dead for We Are Clowns. Four dead for PG. Uh, we Are needs to die here. And probably Pine needs to watch out for that flank that's coming all cap coming for We Are Clowns right now. Right at the top of PG. PG has nothing there, though. And Pine's probably going to die here. We'll find that's uh, that's and take Takedown and the Kumo both out of the game now as well. Like for uh, Pongar, so there's already two heroes down straight away. And there's nobody on home point right now. We are taking home point, getting that cap started. Watson trying to react. Uh, he's in a 1v1 with a short bow. Two Knights also getting involved in there. Um, currently seven dead at this point in time. Eight dead for PG. It's not looking to PG. Only two dead for We Are Clowns. PG needs to get out of that corner. They are losing that exchange there. They, they, they were winning that initially, and then they lost it. Um, it does look like C4 and Sledge may respond to home point. It's anybody's game right now. Um, both teams have only a couple hundred units on the field right now at this point in time. Sledge Bane does get the kill off. Uh, we are still alive fighting Sledge Bane and Maximus. Oh, big push by Weird Clowns here. Um, it is not looking good. We'll see if Gilcho can come up with this cap and make a huge play here. Gilcho needs to be massive here with his... With his... his Cataphract Lancers, man. And here they come, man. Here they come. Let's see if he can get it done. Those, I think he needed cash jigs there, to be honest. Um, but we'll have to see if those caddies can get it done and get those hero kills. I don't think they do. Um, it's just not. It's just too much. It's just too much. Um, most of PG pretty much out of the fight. All of We Are Clowns alive and well. Uh, too nice trying to react. As we're trying to react. A much longer fight than we previously witnessed. But this fight will go decisively to We Are Clowns. Um, they are just all over the point, and, we, and PG is not there. Um, a much better hold than PG, but they had a couple of guys get caught out with their pants down and lose their units, and that kind of fucked them on their push. Um, SKW Aspen Tree, last people alive in the fight. Sig coming in, but it's not going to be there in time, more than likely. Um, at, the, at this point in time, one person alive on point, and it's Pyant. Um, and there he goes. Three Force Cap coming in. Aspen Tree trying to make a play. Sig coming in, but his cap won't get there in time. Mr. Billy D also coming in. Uh, unit Cat, unit, unit, ca um, unit quality there is very limited. Um, I don't think they get in in the fight. One set of four Brock yeah, is pretty much only, stopping all. Only five uh, more heroes that can come back alive as well at this point. Yeah, for, that's pretty much going to be it. That's going to be all she wrote, yeah. man. That's definitely all she wrote for uh, PG. One last live, and that's game, ladies and gentlemen. And that one goes to Weir Clowns. Two and one for Lear Clowns. Wow, what a Went fight, though. Three minutes, though. That was a lot that closer than the last two fights. Way closer. Kicker Balthasar. Again, this guy is, this guy is definitely kind of to play tonight. King Smexy up there as well. I had these players are players to know, man. I also got Ad Ada Palser coming up there as well. We were again up there in the top five. There's some really good players in there that's really getting it done. Like Balthus, so this guy did some heavyweight lifting. 125 unit kills, five hero kills. I mean, that's that's nice, man. Eight hero kills for Kicker and Maya as well. Uh, unit kills are definitely there uh, in force for uh, We Are Clowns. They won the hero kill fight decisively. Uh, like Mark mentioned, uh, Akumo and a couple others got wiped out for the entire fight. Um, and the hero kills for PG were just not there. The unit kills were definitely there. Deal for life, 171 unit kills. Pines, 267. Uh, and SIG 104, I mean, it was definitely, um, in terms of unit kills, a much closer fight, but in terms of hero kills, we are clowns are still dominating. Mark, you can take it away, though, man. My voice is shot. <laughs> if you want to go over it, I'm going <laughs> to all you, brother, all you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, like you said, hero kills definitely made a massive difference there. 48 kills inside of uh, we are clowns against 17 from Pongar. Makes a massive difference in terms of the fact that there is only three lives, so if you do die... Three times you're out of the game and there's no, no helping your team after that. Your units were disappeared. Even if you had units left, that's it. They're not even available. So your unit count instantly has dropped. Even though it says there's 150, there might only be 30 because of the heroes that are alive. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting change up here now for Pongard, um, who will be taking the attack now to Glenn's final. Potentially, maybe not the final one, but you know, it looks like if they get the win out of this one, it's going to go to the Grasslands final. And uh, we'll see how it is in a field map. That's going to be a completely different side of the story what do you think nine fingers what do you think is going to that go down was here? really good like a couple of times i was thinking it's like why are we are clowns going so like why are they going so aggressive for respawns from pond guard but <laughs> because of the free deaths it makes total sense because they caught out was it rebel life rebel the brave rebel, was rebel the brave one. yeah rebel yeah. the brave yeah and then um a couple of other players when they went just like piled on them with eight guys at the back and it makes yeah, total sense the SKW because they've so much well, yeah. time on that map as 